Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is teach you step by step how to set up the Tangem Ring. So this is a cold storage wallet. Um, if you guys have not seen our video, I just did an unboxing video. So I give you the experience of what it's like to unbox and I also have a video on how you can order your Tangem Ring. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I recommend that you head over to the channel and watch that video. Not only is it good for knowing where to order it from, how to do it properly, but I also show you in that video how to get your ring size. So if that's something that concerns you, definitely head over to the channel, watch the video Tangem Ring. So how to order a Tangem Ring and yeah, that's what we have going on there. So guys, you can also use the link tree, save 10% off using code Moose. So guys, use code Moose. You can pick up a Tangem wallet if the ring, if you feel like it's too much for you. Um, but if you do want to order the ring, guys, use code Moose, save 10% off, support the channel. So with that out of the way, what we're going to do now is show you step-by-step -step how to set up the ring. So I'm going to imagine that you unboxed your Tangem ring. You got the ring. Hopefully it fits. So here you can see it fits. I'm I'm blown away with the quality. I think it's really good. And I've been using the Tangem wallet for a while. And I mean, if you take a look, it's already been beaten up quite a bit. So these are the new cards. Um, each Tangem ring comes with two cards. Um, so you can use this as a backup. You can carry one with you in case you don't really want to use the ring if it's, I don't know, too much work for you, whatever. Um, but we're going to need these cards in the ring to set up our wallet. So step one is to order and to unbox, and then you can move on to step two. The next step is to install the Tangem app. So we're going to go into the app store. For me, I use iOS. If you're using Android, it should be available for you there. So we're gonna type in Tangem. So I've already installed this, but this is what the app looks like. So we're just screen recording on the phone and you're gonna see the Tangem crypto wallet. So that's what I want you to download. If you have to, I recommend to update it as well. This will give you access to a lot of additional tokens and features. So let's open up our Tangem app. So once you have your Tangem app, all you're gonna do is scan your ring. So in order to scan your ring, you have to take it off. And the main reason for this is because if you're using your phone and your ring's on your hand, you're gonna accidentally tap it by accident. So looking at the screen here, all you have to do is hold it towards the top. So hit scan tangent, and you're just gonna hold it like so. Very simple. There we go, so ready to scan, done. And instead of going to create wallet, we're gonna to go to other option. Once we go to other option, we're going to use a seed phrase. So with a seed phrase, what we're gonna be able to do is actually back up our wallet on paper. So you can go back here and go to create wallet. It's going to encrypt your seed phrase in the device. Um, meaning the ring and your two cards. That's wonderful. But what I like to do is actually write down my seed phrase. This gives us the option that in case we lose all of our devices, meaning the cards and or rings, um, then what we can do is just buy a new set, import our words, and we can regenerate our crypto. So we'll get access to our tokens that are held on the blockchain. So effectively, all this ring does is hold an encrypted version of your private keys and it allows you as the owner of the keys to sign transactions. Your tokens are always held on the blockchain, but it's all about who has the private keys to sign transactions. So it's a little complicated, don't worry about it. So now what we're gonna do is go to other options and here we're going to either import a wallet. So let's say that we already lost all of our stuff. We perhaps just bought a tangent ring and we have our backup phrase, we can then import by hitting import. So what you could do is hit import wallet 
put in your words along with your passphrase. What we're going to do is generate a seed phrase. So generate seed phrase. And we could either do a 12 or 24 word. 24 words will be obviously that much more difficult for somebody to find out your words. So I'm kind of a fan of both. We're going to do a 12 word. I think that's enough for the moose to write for now. What I'm going to do is take a pen and paper and I'm going to write down these words in my secret book. All right, so what we're going to do is write down all of our words on a piece of paper and then you back this up in a spot that you know where to access it. So here we're just going to write tangium 12 words. So we got one more word here and now what we're going to do is hit continue and check whether you've written down your words. So it wants us to put in word number two. So let's go back. So word number two, I'm going to put that in. So create wallet. Now we're going to scan again. We're going to do this using our ring. So there we go. So now that we've scanned our ring, it now holds our words. So we're going to add up to two cards. So add a card or ring. And then we're going to add another one. And finalize backup. So two backup devices have been added. So we have our ring along with two cards. Finalize backup. Create a access code. So let's create one. I've already got one created from before. So I'm going to keep that. And here we're going to put that in. And we're almost there. So now it wants us to scan the ring one more time. So here we're going to hold it like so. 15 seconds. All right, so now it wants us to scan our backup card. Start with the first one. So what you're gonna have is a number on the back of your card. So whenever you're scanning your device, it knows whether it's a card or a ring. And when you put in your password, you have access to your crypto. All right, so we have our first backup card and then now our second. And I think this is fantastic. So shout out to Tanjum. And again, guys, use code Moose. Save 10% off your Tanjum ring. Um, the quality of this device is awesome. It's convenient. Um, I'm just a big fan all around. So guys, remember when you're using your crypto cold wallet, in this case, we're talking about the Tanjum ring and cards. You can walk around with these and unless somebody knows your password they're not going to get access to your crypto so it's a way for you to walk around with the ability to sign transactions in an encrypted fashion so next we're going to add our assets here we got bitcoin ethereum perfect let's add maybe a bnb smart chain account so we're going to check that on and we're also going to check on solana why not and then what else? We have ADA, so perfect. And AVAX, perfect. And then we could add more later. So let's hit continue. Add an access code and probably scan our ring again. So to scan your ring, you got to take it off, which is good because you don't want it, the app popping up all the time. So there we go, success. Your wallet is configured and ready for you. So continue to my wallet. All right, so that is how you set up your Tangium Ring wallet. So what we're gonna do is go to the top right. And if we go to wallet, we can also go to manage tokens. We can add different assets. So let's say you maybe picked up some Doge or you wanna you know, hold some Chainlink or 
Shiba, whatever it may be, you can do that easily. So Doge main, there we go. So Doge is its own chain, right? So we got that. We can also go to app settings and we want to stay on dark mode, which is cool. So a lot that we can do here with the app. All right, so that ends our review on the Tandrum Ring. So far, I am very impressed. If you guys haven't seen it already, I've already done an unboxing and this completes the setup video. Guys, head over to the link tree. So if you want to order one, use code Moose using the link tree. And that being said, the Moose is loose. Comment down below if you've picked one up and we'll see you in the next one.